Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing you the very first pop-up pack unboxing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you guys about the pop-up pack and what it is, then I'm going to show you guys mine, and then I'm going to kind of review the whole system. So this is brought to you by the same people who brought us Horror Pack. They're going to do both now. Uh, so the Horror Pack, you, you know, you buy a month at a time. It's a $20 for the DVDs, $25 for the Blu-rays, and it's a once a month subscription fee. Now, with the, with the horror packs, everybody's is the same for the month. So if you get the October DVD pack and your friend gets the October DVD pack, you guys end up with the same movies, just four random movies they send out. But everybody's is going to be the same, other than, you know, DVD and Blu-ray sets are different. So now they had this idea for pop-up pack, and I, I think there's some cool ideas behind it. Um, instead of having a $20 or $25 a month subscription fee, you now have a $5 a month subscription fee, and that covers shipping of one pack. So there's four packs a month. You get a new a new theme each week. This is the very first one, and I believe their theme was Thriller for the first week. They've also had Drama, Sci-Fi, and Action. So I think those are the ones they've had so far. And so it's a new, it's a new theme each week, and obviously they'll have to repeat them because there's only so many themes. But they open... You go on there, you get a list of movies. They have uh, some special things that are maybe $10 or $20. Then they have a bunch of Blu-rays that are $5 and a bunch of DVDs that are $5. So if you're paying your $5 per month subscription fee, you kind of want to buy at least one box out of the four or you're just throwing $5 away. So to me, I don't understand. I think there's a better way to do it. I think the subscription fee is kind of a bad idea. Why not just let anybody buy a box whenever they want? and not charge them the $5, well, maybe to make you feel like you have to buy a box because you've already spent $5 on it, you know? So I, I, I feel like this isn't a, a good model for a subscription fee because if there's four packs and you don't want any of the movies, then you either lose your $5 or you just buy four movies that maybe you don't even want that much. Or another thing would be have it just be a one-month pack. So they could do a theme each week, but if you wanted one movie from each theme, you know, then you could build a pack of four movies that way. Uh, I think that would be a good idea too, but that's just me personally. Maybe what they're doing now is working. I don't, I don't know. I've only bought one pack in the first month because there just really wasn't much I was too interested in the other ones. Or, you know, there was one movie or two movies. And uh, as far as I know, you can order as many of the movies as you want. You know, they maybe have 20 or 30 movies in each theme and you can buy as many as you want. They just, you know, charge you $5 each for them. So it would be cool if you could just say, hey, I want one from the action pack, one from the thriller pack, you know, and then just build a pack that way or two and three or however many you want. And it'd be a lot easier and cheaper that way. Again, if you're if you're buying four a month, if you buy four movies from each pack, that's twenty dollars, then fifteen for shipping. So, <laughs> so that's eighty, ninety five dollars. Then if you're also getting the horror pack, you're at over $100 for these. So to me, I'm not going to be somebody who buys every week's pop-up pack. It's, it's too much money um, for, for all these movies. And if you only want one movie and then you're paying $5 for shipping, well, then you, you've lost your whole, you know, getting a good deal portion of it. You know, a lot of times they have these movies lower than you can get them on Amazon. I wouldn't say lower than I've ever seen them, but lower than the, the normal prices. But then when you're adding in $5 for shipping, well, you got to buy four or more to really make up for the shipping costs. So they did have a beta and I got this shipping for this free. I did pay for all the movies, but I got free shipping. And I don't think $5 is bad shipping for a pack of four movies, but if I only want one, it seems like such a waste. <laughs> all right, so I guess I already reviewed it. That was out of order. So, so I, I just want to say, I do think they're cool. But as I said, I think there's ways that they could really improve this or make it user more user-friendly. Um, but maybe they're selling enough packs already that they don't care. You know, maybe they're like, this, this works really well the way we have it. And maybe it works for you guys. I don't know. Just for me, I feel like uh, either, either doing weekly themes where you can build up a one-month pack or maybe have an option, like save these the end of the month and then I just build a one month pack and then maybe you pay a little more shipping or something I don't know I just I can't myself see spending $25 every week on 
on movies, you know, or more. Some, some people could be spending $100 a week. They see a lot of movies they want, and they just buy them all. You know, they did have uh, the Spider-Man... Uh, I forget what they call it exactly. They had the Spider-Man Digibook trilogy thing that they just put out not that long ago for only 20 That was a pretty good price. I think the lowest I have ever seen it. But they're coming out with the 4K ones, so who wants the, who wants the Blu-ray ones now? <laughs> So I don't even remember what movies I got. This isn't like the horror pack where I'm surprised. I picked out these movies, but I don't remember what it was. Also, another interesting thing is you can mix DVDs and Blu-rays, which I think is really cool, and I did that. So let's check out what we got here. Uh, Before I Go to Sleep, Nicole Kidman, Colin Firth, and Mark Strong. Nicole Kidman delivers a stunning powerhouse performance. I just thought this one looked interesting, like kind of creepy. That guy kind of creeping behind her. (laughs) Um, Oscar winner Nicole Kidman and Colin Firth deliver riveting performances in this tense thriller based on best-selling novel that features a shocking twist ending you will never see coming. Well, now that I know, I probably will see it. Valkyrie. Tom Cruise Valkyrie based on the incredible true story. I've never seen this one. I think, isn't this a a World War II where he's like, I don't know if he's a Nazi. Somehow the Nazis are involved, I think. I know, I know a lot about this movie. Based on the incredible true story of Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg and his ingenious assassination plot targeting Adolf Hitler, this engrossing thriller reenacts a daring operation to eliminate one of the most evil tyrants the world has ever known, co-starring Kenneth Bran... Branagh? Bill Nye? The science guy's in this. Wow, okay. Tom Wilkinson, Terrence Stamp, and Eddie Lizard. Valkyrie delivers pulse-pounding excitement from start to finish. So I've never seen this one. Have you guys... What do you guys think of it? Lucky? I thought this one, Lucky, looked kind of interesting. Even a serial killer can win the lottery. Uh, Colin Hanks, of course, that was one reason why, and Jeffrey Tambor, I, you know, uh, he's the, the dad from Arrested Development, and whoever those people are, <laughs> and Margaret. Skiffly made and perfectly acted. After Ben wins the lottery, Lucy's childhood crush suddenly becomes obtainable. Shocking how that happens. But she has a hidden agenda. Well, to get his money. Okay, that's obvious. <laughs> Definitely curious to check this one out. Crush. Last up, we have Crush. Careful who you wish for. You think the girl is the killer? She's got a crush on that guy? Are you... Think she's protecting herself? Hmm. Special feature making of Crush. High school heartthrob Scott has it all. Good looks, popularity, and a secret admirer. But what starts out as a seemingly innocent crush soon turns deadly. Hmm. Well, I guess I only got one DVD. So that's my first... uh, pop-up pack thriller themed i think i probably will stay subscribed to it just because i like it and it it is only five dollars and i have to then i'll have to buy one a month to make up for it so i just hope that they'll continue to have at least one theme where i'm interested in the movies uh i'm really curious what you guys think of this new idea of the pop-up packs are you guys buying any or what, what just leave in the comment section below what you guys think thanks for watching if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to like leave it a like rating if you haven't already subscribe for more videos check out the suggested videos and i'll see you guys next time